I, I think we've had enough success in overtime that it's not a devastating event for us. Well, it's a confidence. We've put ourselves in a position here with enough wins that to, to, you don't have to uh, ride that emotional roller coaster that a, a game gets to if you're hanging on to a game and, uh, and you give up a lead late. It doesn't happen to us very often. Um, and then Shafley and Wheeler and Morrissey have a, have a good little thing going on there, so they're feeling pretty confident. Can you say about the way Morrissey's been able to fit in with those two in overtime? Well, he's just a real smart guy. And um, I honestly think Josh could fit in with anybody he does. But he's, he's a really smart player. But you have to have confidence in each other. I and mean, you know that, that Chase looking for him on the way the day. So he wants, a lot of times, forwards won't pass necessarily to the defenseman. Right? They'll look for each other. But they were looking for more on the way up again on that shot. And it's a good group. How would you describe the block of games for Mark Schleifley? I mean, looks like he's got 30 points his last 18. Yeah. And really elevated again. He's, he's, he's almost at that playoff level where he was last year. He, and big goals for us uh, in New York and, and game winners and, uh, and different places. You know, that read he made on that power play goal instead of going into the slot on that rolling back door when, when Patty's high, that's a tough read for the defensive team. So he's, he's just been great.